Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to clean up the carbon deposits on the exhaust port of your two-cycle outdoor power equipment. Now to do this, you'll need to remove the muffler from your equipment. And I've got this other chainsaw here with the muffler already off. And if you're new to small engine repairs, this is the exhaust port over here. So what you want to do is clean the carbon from inside here. If you don't clean the carbon deposits regularly, you could end up with a scored piston, rings, and cylinder like this and this can be very expensive to repair. Also when you clean the carbon from your exhaust port you want to make sure that you're very careful so that you don't cause any damage to the internal parts. First of all here I want to show you why I'm cleaning the port on this one. As you can see here there's quite a bit of carbon buildup. It's not as bad as what I've seen before but this carbon can eventually break off, go in the cylinder and score the piston and the rings like I showed you previously. Now the bottom part of the port isn't as bad as the top part. And you can see there's a bit on the sides. Now the first thing you want to do is if the rings are showing like this in the port, you want to pull over the engine so that you can block the port with the skirt of the piston. So just like this. That will ensure no carbon goes in when you're cleaning it. Now what I've done here is put up the saw on an angle so that the port is also facing downwards. This is just so gravity gives me a little hand when the pieces of carbon come off. It's not necessary to put it on an angle but it's just a preventive measure that I'm taking here today. The tool you'll need for this today is a scraper or some screwdrivers like this. All I'm going to use today is a slotted screwdriver that's going to work as a scraper. Now I'm going to reach in with the screwdriver and basically rub it or scrub it from side to side like this. And you can see the carbon's coming off. Be very careful that you do not scratch the piston with your screwdriver. It's just common sense but you can easily make the mistake of reaching in too deep. I'm going to do this in stages. I'm not going to scrape out the whole port at once. Now there's two options I use to clean out the port. The first one is I can use my air gun. And the second one is I can use a shop vac and vacuum out the carbon from the port. Today I'm going to go for this option because then I'm totally sure that no carbon is being pushed in by the compressed air. So what I'm going to do is reach in all over here and where the port is and just suck out the carbon. Now I'll flip the saw over to do the top side of the port. You also may want to wear safety glasses doing this because the carbon can fly up in your eyes sometimes. And you want to get the sides clean too. Now I've got it all cleaned up and vacuumed, I decided I'm just going to give it one last blast of air in the port. And everything looks good. Oftentimes too you may want to clean inside your muffler if it comes apart. Also a lot of mufflers will have a spark arrestor like this. And sometimes these screens get clogged up with carbon as well and they need to be cleaned. On this small 180C chainsaw from steel there is a spark arrestor screen behind the grill. You just remove the two nuts here, take the screen out, clean it, then put it back on. Some of the symptoms you may experience with a clogged up exhaust port or spark arrestor screen is poor acceleration. It may not even start at all and if it does start, it may stall as soon as you go to power up. And in the worst case scenario, if the carbon breaks off the walls of the port and goes inside the cylinder, you're not going to have any more compression, therefore your equipment will not run properly again. Some things that may cause a lot of carbon buildup on your exhaust port is that there may be too much oil in your gas. A lot of two-cycle equipment uses mixed fuel. That's a mix of fuel and oil. And if you don't mix it correctly or don't use the proper oil, it will cause a carbon buildup. So how often should I clean this exhaust port on my two-cycle equipment? Well, if I were you, I would check it every year or at the beginning of each new season that you're going to use it. Then at least you know you're good for the year and that you won't be causing any more major damage to your equipment. Thanks for watching guys. Please post your comment underneath today's video. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.